We are at a vintage camper show today and it happened to be right in our backyard guys. We are settled in Silva, North Carolina and this is in Waynesville, North Carolina and I'm pulling up to one of the first vintage tinies, one of the first vintage campers right now and it looks so cute, the setup. Guys, I already know that I'm going to love this show because the setup and the presentation is just amazing already. I would love to see the person that actually set this up and owns this camper, guys. I've heard that the stories of some of the vintage campers and even the people, how long they've had them and some of the renovations they've probably done is so amazing. Oh, this is super nice. All right, guys, so this is set up so cute, like a little tiny home inside. I love the color scheme. Almost everything in here goes with the, th with the theme and is teal. It is so nice. So this is camper number one. In the late 18, in the late 80s, Poland sent 100 empty fiberglass shells to Canada. Mine was finished in Canada, then sold in Pennsylvania. I bought it in March 2021 and did an extensive remodel, which documented on YouTube. <laughs> Guys, this is the Betty Blue, and I'm guessing that lady might be Betty, but we'll find out later. This is a cute setup. I love it. Guys, this is a this is really example of how no matter how old something is, I mean, you can literally still keep them in good condition. You can still decorate them, live in them, camping them. I'm so excited that we're here because, you know, our RV is, you know, a newer model, but I wouldn't mind if we actually had something that was vintage like this. bright it is really blue it looks like the sky I mean like I can lay in here and chill all day this thing is awesome I mean you would have to be here to really see what the blue does fit in here it, it's so cheerful I'm smiling while I'm like oh my god look at the stove oh man guys this is so cute super super cute I am so happy with the way they took their time and decorated these things. Look at that. Have you guys ever seen a blue stove in Blue Range? Betty, is your yeah. name or just her name? No, it's, um, it's named after uh, my husband's mom. Oh, so. that's so sweet. Guys, this lady did an awesome, awesome job. I mean, it feels so, I feel like I was just laying underneath like the open blue sky. It was so awesome in there. I love the way it looks. Thank you for bringing her out here. All right, guys. So a little bit of information on it, guys. It looks like it's a Shasta and it's a 1968. Love it. Look at this cute table. Guys, when I say they took the theme to another level here, they literally took the time to set up their spots in their campers and they have a color theme. This one looks like a Tiffany blue. I'm talking breakfast at Tiffany's, guys. That is what I'm calling this camper. If the name is not breakfast at Tiffany's, it should be. This is awesomely cool. Oh, guys. The entire theme. Hey guys, so this one is a 1964 fantasy. And we're going to go check it out, guys. It did not disappoint because from the door, I can literally tell it's going to take on the same theme in here. And it has that same breakfast at Tiffany's color going on. I love it. 
Let's take a look inside. Aw. Awesome. All right, guys, we got another one coming up. It's a 1976 Ramblet. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Oh, I just love the detail. I just love the detail on the ceiling, guys, and I just love these cabinets. The dining space is so cute, guys. They took that backsplash on into the table. That's just such a cozy little nook to eat in. I love it. and it actually has a bedroom guys it has two twin size beds in here you can easily get a bigger bed if you wanted to oh hi guys <laughs> guys there's a shower let me not move it but there's a shower and actually a tub area here you know if you wanted to turn a camper into a tiny it would be great oh gosh Look at this. Am I taking you guys through like a time zone right now? This one's actually playing, isn't it? Yes. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. Oh, so his name is Scotty, guys. It's really tiny, so I can kind of catch it off about here. But we have a yeah, nice yeah. bedding. Yes. That's my grandmother's. Is it? It's brand new in the box. She never used it. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a 1967 Scotty, and they have this thing just, I mean, the theme of it is really, really nice. I actually overheard the lady telling a story that, you know, something here belonged to her grandmother, and it's just those stories that is just so amazing. Is this a unicycle? What? <laughs> Look at that. All right, guys, we have so much to show you guys today, so I'm going to keep it moving. But this is going to go on the list of one of my favorites just because it has a unicycle and I have never seen one in real life. <laughs> That's awesome. What do we have here? A 1959 milk truck. So was this actually a milk truck? Absolutely. Oh, my God, guys. Guy, guy would jump out with a milk crate and run around and put it in a put it in your, your carport or you set it inside your house. Oh my gosh. The houses were unlocked, nobody cared. You know, my generation needs to see this. I don't disagree. <laughs> so, back in the day, guys, before you can just go to Walmart and pick up a jug, this is how you got your, your milk. We have a 1965 Airstream Overlander. Can you guys look at the polish on that one? I just love they have two back to back. One's bigger and one's smaller. Oh guys, look at this little look at this little vintage Airstream kind of decoration. Alright guys, this is our first Airstream we went in today. And here's the lovely owner. <laughs> So guys, this camper is gonna be all original. This has been just owned by the same family since it was brand new. And look how awesome they kept this thing. Guys, this is literally the cabinets and everything that came in here. And nowadays you see Airstreams and you don't get to really appreciate them for what they were because everything's so new. And to be able to see all the old wood, I just love it. kept it so well. Oh, I gotta get this cowboy. That's his dad. <laughs> cool looking dude. <laughs> thank you for letting us yeah, tour it. Thank you, very nice. That's what was the name of it? What? Did you name it? Uh, the only thing we ever put was in my father's name. Aww. Was, uh, navigator my father's dream. I'm gonna go for this lady makes me cry. It was a touching story. <laughs> I love it. 
Very nice. So these two are together? Yeah. Well, yeah, we bought this in 2018 to have something to hold it with. That's original? That's too cool. We're gonna we get special privileges. We're going in the bedroom. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, so this was the machine we were talking about, and she says it it's a 19, 1948 singer machine, and she has an original singer quote back here. And that's what we're gonna see right now. Signature quote. Signature quote. And the story on this is all the ladies donated a square to this. That is so awesome. God. That's a hair dryer? Oh man, oh man. Guys, you have to go out to these vintage shows when they come up because you would never get to see things that wasn't in our lifetime before. I've never seen a hair dryer like this. That is awesome. I am having so much fun. I cannot wait to show you guys the video. Guys, look at this little tiny. And I tell you, there's enough room in here for you to be comfortable, even as a small family. I love this. You know, you after we sold our homes, we realized that you do not need much to live. This thing is so cute. All right. Cute little guy. What's the year of it? It's a 72. Oh, guys. And it was it was actually built in the U.S. Most bowler is I noticed it said a, um, American on yeah, the back. Bowler is actually Canadian. And for about six months in 72 wichita kansas mm -hmm. opened a plant built them and then shut down so you so, got one of the special ones yeah, that we, has we, that american made yes, stamp on it that's yes. amazing guys yes. guys look at this oh my word will you look at that dashboard awesome Right, guys, I know we're here for the campers, but that's a cool old school car. Yeah. Guys, look at the color of this one. Yeah. Can you say he got creative? Because I love it. So we have a 1972 Airstream Argo. Now they got funky with it and I could dig it. I love it. Guys, it has the red in there, the yellow, the bright colors. How awesome. Guys, this is original. That is awesome. What is that? It's a fan. What? It's called a hassock fan. Oh my god, guys. Did you make that? I'm literally like asking this guy like what this is and it's a fan. It's a hassock fan called a hassock fan. A hassock fan. It's, it's a big deal with the campers. I mean, a lot of people. Really? I've never seen it in my this life. One is, this one's very unique because the top comes off and you can put ice in it and it'll cool it out. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're about to go in this one and it is so awesome. It is so clean in here. It is so clean and nice. The color scheme is amazing, guys. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. It is so light and bright in here. You guys would not understand how cute this is now this is literally like tiny home worthy look at the headboards they were so creative with this one you have two twin size beds here you have enough space in the middle to for both of you to get up and be standing in here the bathroom is so nice hi guys i haven't seen you in a while and it's a full bathroom guys It is so nice and clean in here. You actually have storage underneath the beds. What else more do you need? Guys, so this one was a 1972 Avion. Loved it. Guys, look at the yard. I just love the setup. Like before I get to the camper and we even discussed that, I just have to let you guys see the work 
that these people put in to just set this up for us. If you guys have not been to a vintage campus show, you have to get out there and go. First of all, I want to show off these bottles because you don't ever really get to see the bottles anymore. This one is a 1965 Shasta. Guys, this one's still original. And look at the countertops. Oh, it's so cute in here. I love it. She got lots of storage. It is so cute in here, guys. Can you just feel the love and the colors in here? Look at that little clothing line with the little dresses on there. It's cool. Really cool. They did that this year, or back in July. Look at this so little vintage shoes, guys. Awesome. Got some vintage pictures here. Are they real baby um baby shoes? It's my baby <gasps> shoes. No. Yeah. <gasps> what? Mama kept oh my god. Now I have it gone. <laughs> did you take a picture of yes. it? Yes. I just can't get over her baby shoes that are 66 <laughs> years old though guys and you have to see that picture like those that's her in the shoes 66 years ago this is also her first car which is an apollo i just love this guys like that is amazing this lady is a trooper she gets on the road and she gets going i love it thank you for showing us your camper you are so welcome thank you mm. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. So this one is a 1967 Duke. Love it. I don't know if you can tell how polished this thing is, but it is polished. God, how did you get it so shiny? It looks like my mirror that I got dressed hey, in this morning. It's got morning. a glaze on it right now, a haze, and we're getting ready to have it polished again. What? I was going to say, do you polish it yourself? We did, but we're having somebody do it this time. Wow. Guys, say, this thing respect. is super work. shiny. Yeah, it it's some, it's a nice rally, isn't mm -hmm. it? This is nice. Have a 1978 Scotty and she's blue and white and she is pretty. All right guys so I can already tell that the wallpaper is awesome sauce. It's so clean and bright in here that actually brightened up the entire camper. I'm not sure if it's original at this point but it's so nice in here. They actually have a queen bed on this side so if you're a family and you don't need a lot of living area but a lot of sleeping area. This is actually a good setup that they have. You have storage all along the top. There's a little kitchenette here. And we have a little granddaughter who take her camping. So I was going to do a little, the smaller bed in front and just leave it permanently and still give you somewhere to sit. Definitely, yeah. That's amazing. That's what I said. For people that want the smaller camper but are like, how am I going to do it with the kids? Guys, they took their boot out and put a little bed in here. And I think that that's such an awesome idea. So if you have kids, you also have no reason to not get out there and camp. You can still do a small camper. It can still be vintage and you can remodel it to look nice. So. All right, guys. So this one is going to be a 1969 
big beaver. This is cute. Oh, guys, there's like a little ray of sunshine in here. I tell you. Oh, man. This is so homey. I feel like this would make me happy if I woke up in here. Like if I just went to bed and woke up, like I would just wake up happy. Oh, it's decorated so nice. So they have storage here under the bed, guys. There's storage above there. First of all, the woodwork in here, I have to show you guys the ceiling. So the ceiling is, is literally wooded and it just comes down into the wall. And it is so nice because the color scheme, the yellow goes with the actual, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it kind of seems like pine and it's so pretty. Here's the shower and bathroom in this area. So it's tiny, but it's definitely enough space for what you would need. Kitchen area here. I'm more to think that that was, that was the last year, 69 last year. I know, they, I know a man that's got a, a little beaver. They made a little beaver and apparently a big beaver. I didn't know about the big beaver. Yeah. I found out. A little beaver and a big beaver. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Is this your girl? The camper? <laughs> the camper's oh, yours? The camper's mine. Oh, awesome. This is so cute. I walked inside and it literally made me happy. Like it gives off this ray of sunshine, like the yeah. color scheme. It smells really, really good. I yeah. love it. <laughs> All right, guys. When you see flamingos in the yard, you know it's going to be good. Oh, is it a 1963 Franklin? Mm -hmm, that's that's cool. All right, guys, so a little bit of spec on it. 1963 Franklin, like we just saw there. But guys, this color scheme is awesome. They have the bike here. It's an old Schwinn. I just want to take a minute to appreciate the setup that they have here because this setup is really cute. Are they old school clothespins? <laughs> Guys, that is so cool. They have old school clothespins here. Look at this old school phone. I remember like being a kid and using this. That is so cool. When you would just hang up on people. <laughs> it does not look like the person is here and there's a pup on the bed and I don't want to let him out or intrude. So we're just going to get a little bit from out here. Guys, this one is not set up, or maybe it was earlier. We have to say that we did take longer than expected walking through because they were all so awesome. But this one is about the most polished and shiniest Airstream I think we've seen here. They did an awesome job. I wish I could see what year it was. We can get a little view of the inside too from here. Oh guys, it is so clean on the inside. This one is so cute. I love the fact that they have their own little signing that tells you what it is so we don't have to look for the sticker. But guys, this one's a 1959 Shastra. I think that's the, like the oldest one we've seen here so far. I'm waiting for your reaction. Okay. I caught it though, I just got the little smile. <laughs> oh guys, oh this is so cute. All right. Oh wow. That is, is this original? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, man. So guys, this is literally enough space that I think you can live in. This is like tiny home level. They have a full kitchen, kitchen here in the middle. All the appliances. But this is exactly why you have to come to these shows sometimes because you get to see things that you haven't seen before. This is like enough space literally to hang out back here. Even if you wanted to take this be this couch out, or I don't know, this probably turns into a bed, but you probably can also just take that out and put a full-time bed in there. And you could actually full-time in this. This is enough space to full-time. There's a bathroom. Yeah. Where? Right here. This door. Oh! Right here. <laughs> Guys, everything is so neat in this place that I didn't realize that they had a bathroom in here. So you have... Oh wow guys, 
Oh, I love how they did the floors with the wood. So you have your full shower right here. And they have like their toilet, the whole setup. Like this is literally full time. You can full time in this. I love it. So guys, this is why I always say like, there's no excuses, no excuses why you can't get something, remodel it and get out there and see nature and just get on your way. This is awesome. All right, guys, so this was actually the coolest thing of the day. I have not had anyone allow me to actually, you know, put my mark on their camper. And so they have this interesting door here that everyone signed and I cannot wait to put me and Eric's mark on here. This is so cool. Here we go. There you go, guys. Nature's near 2022. Love it. This one is A 1973 Airstream. Awesome. Guys, look at this awesome old school luggage. Hello. Hi, come on in and look. Thank you. I can't make it past this lovely setup right here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. That is so cute. Who are you? Hi. Hi. Get away from me, he said. I'm just reliving my youth is what I'm reliving. Girl, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Do you mind if I go in? No, help yourself. All right, guys. So I love the fact that this holds two beds. She actually has ample space in the middle if anyone was visiting the bathrooms. Like, this is a perfect setup. I just love... And you guys know that we just left Florida and we both sold our home. So this is really making me feel a little homey. I have not seen flamingos in beach life ever since we <laughs> left. We've been here for six months and this is the closest I've been to beach. And I'm originally born and raised in the Bahamas. I came to Florida for college. Uh -huh. So he took a beach girl and brought me in the mountains. Oh, and yeah, you are having a little <laughs> bit of adjustment. Oh, then Flamingo is our national bird in the Bahamas. So it's literally giving me like home vibes right now. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, her bathroom is so cute. When I said she brought Florida like to travel with her, the old school Florida, like she said before Disney Florida, like the actual beach scene. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Hi. Hi, isn't that cool? It is so cool. Oh God, I love the ribbons already. This is so cute. We're in 1963 Shasta. And the color guys, when I say magenta, it is magenta and it is pretty. Oh my God, I love the bows. All right. You guys know when Eric smiles, that means it's gonna be good. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, okay. I don't know what I want to show first. All right, guys. So first of all, let's just appreciate the color. And I have to tell you, the color goes inside and it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so bright. I'm talking about like, this is the one I, I would live in. I tell you guys all the time that, oh, I would live there. I would live there. No, I would live here. This is cute. Oh my, oh my gosh, what, what is this? That is so crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, this just blew my mind. What? There is a clawfoot tub in this thing. Oh my gosh, I, I'm blown away. I've never seen this in a camper before. Oh my gosh, guys. 
could you imagine just coming home? Like, not even home, like leaving work and going to your camper instead of your home, and your home looked like this? The curtains, I mean, even the curtains have a sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see it. It is so bright in here. It is so bright. I can't get over the clawfoot tub. This is a girl's best friend. You talk about a Sastra? This is the Sastra of all Sastras, guys. This is the one that I want to have a glass of wine in. This is the one that I want to hang out at for my birthday. What? Oh my gosh. What made you go with the, I guess you're saying magenta and the color? Yeah, this is it. This is exactly right. This is color. What made you choose the... I wanted to be feminine. I cannot show you guys this thing in its entirety. There is no way I'd be able to show you guys how awesome this thing is. All right, guys, here's something I haven't seen before. Chrome propane tanks to match your Airstream. That's awesome. All right, guys, so we have a 1964 Airstream. Let's go check it out. It was done by the same people that did the magenta camper, so I'm really excited to see this. Oh, man. I already, they were really good with their designing. So you have storage underneath here before you go in, a nice sofa. You have storage up above. There's a storage everywhere, guys. I love this thing. What an amazing job they did. The bathroom is straight ahead, guys. You have the kitchen here to the left. It's all remodeled, but they've kept it very old school in here, and I love it. So let's go see the bathroom. You have this accordion style divider for the bathroom door. Here's your bathroom seat. put your makeup on in this thing so we have a 1963 Bambi I love it I love it I love the style of it all right so we're gonna have storage all the way at the bottom there's a lot of storage in here I love the gray already I love the sofas oh wow so guys this is so this is a tiny thing from the outside but you get in here and there's a full kitchen at the back that is so cute. And a full bathroom. That's like an original AC up there, guys. This is so cool. They got their closet. They're so, you literally can just get out there and still be comfortable and full time live in these things. There's a full shower, there's a full kitchen in here. I didn't expect it to be set up back there like that. That's what I said. I never expect full kitchen and bathroom. This is so cool. You probably can turn the sofas into a bed. That's cool. Guys, there's people like this that keep the, the vintage ones alive, that the ones that you see going down the road, and you're like, how is that thing so shiny? It's this lady. <laughs> <laughs> cool thank, thank you, you so much beautiful where'd you get i have to say this was very unusual that's something i haven't seen before the tanks uh, I polished. you really I polished. I polished the did, I did, did you guys hear that this lady polished her I mean, tank polish tanks like and that. her camper oh my gosh what an awesome what an awesome lady guys oh, yeah. listen <laughs> she's out here doing it you get out there and you do it too that's awesome Oh my gosh, how cute is that? OMG guys, look at this thing. Oh wow. All right guys, so you guys know what I like. I like that it's all set up. So this one actually has like an old school truck attached that pulls it. 
It is so cute. They have a color scheme, this like gunpowder gray. Oh my. Oh man, guys, does this take you back to like your grandpa picking you up from high school or something? That is so cool. All right, guys, so this one is going to be a 1980 Bur Bureau? Burrow. Like Burrow. Spanish hey, guy. Uh, <laughs> in the Bahamas, Burrow actually means like your dresser. Oh, really? Yeah, I'd be like, get that on the Burrow. Like that you learn something every day, right? <laughs> all right, guys, this is so cool. First of all, he has all of these um, license plates and bottle caps, and that is so cool. Really? That's cool. Guys, look at this. First of all, I have to show you guys the step in. That is so cool. I'm like looking for the steps to get in, and then I realize, oh, there's a tire, and it has like a step, a surface. So that is so cool. <laughs> guys, this thing is so cute. Oh my gosh. This one's my mom and dad right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at these guys back in the day. Are those Harleys probably? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, so this is what he used to pull that little thing. And when I tell you, it is the cutest setup ever. The color scheme is so amazing. These people are so creative. I'm My face is like hurting from smiling this whole entire time because normally we go to the tiny shows and it's so amazing. And I wasn't really excited about the vintage show. I have to say that. And they have completely changed my mind about everything, about the way they tow their vehicles, about the way they do their decorating about the way they take their time and remodel these things guys i am they have made a believer out of me that you can literally get a vintage camper and turn it into your dream guys right, so we have the 1968 zipper oh it's really nice and open in here so it starts off with the kitchen right at the door and then you have your bathroom right ahead of you. And guys, then you have your living area. And I'm sure that this turns into a bed. And it looks like it could be a very, very big bed here. But I love the color schemes too. I just love how these, how they just kept the old school color scheme. All that orange and yellows and blues from growing up. How awesome. Oh my god, I'm gonna take some people back to their childhoods right now with this. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is why you come to vintage shows because you get to see the things that you don't see anymore. And I was vintage things still work. I promise you, <laughs> like guys, he's playing this. It was actually built right yeah. For the kids that are watching the channel, this is music coming out of this box right now. <laughs> the boy the boy told me said that's a big biggest C D player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. The crock pot works. The radio works. Doesn't say that's a radio? Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I, I didn't know what it was, so I wasn't videoing it. <laughs> Guys, this is a radio and it works. Like, did you ever see this in your grandma's house growing up? I know I'm going to get so many comments on how many of you I took back to your childhood, and I am so happy to do it. And it's these guys, guys. They kept this stuff in good condition so that the generations now can enjoy it. That's so cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. What is this? That, that's musky dots. Try them. It's like a grape. Okay, guys. We just ran into, what is it called? Muscadines. Muscadines. I've never had one in my life, and I'm going to try one. Come on, babe. No, There's still no, more no. down here. Yeah, Get really. They're, they're grapes. They're grapes. Try the white ones. Try the white the ones white first. Ones? Yeah, well, yeah, just try good, one of the white ones. Good it's good. Firm white yeah. One. Just put it in your mouth. All put right. it in your mouth and bite it. It's got seeds, but I mean, you can't. Uh, you tell me you first. Can, <laughs> you can eat those too. It's got seeds it's in it. It's actually good, but I, I felt that. The... Yeah, it's not going to hurt you. We, I eat the whole inside. I eat, well, I eat everything of it. It's so. actually really good. Yeah. The seed actually tastes like perfume. Yeah. <laughs> I got to a part, a part that tastes like perfume, but grape perfume. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not bad. I swear to you. Yeah, that's uh, right. No, I'm fine. He, he doesn't I'm eat fruits or vegetables. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a picky eater. Yeah. Imagine being from the Bahamas and trying to cook for him. He only yeah. eats burgers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> burgers only mayo. Yeah. Mayo and cheese. Guys, where did they come from? Alpha van. Oh, really? Very cool. Alpha van at home. Oh, oh yeah. look at how many you got. I, buckets full. I know that my YouTubers are going to say you could have died today. But, <laughs> but. I would have died with a delicious taste I in my mouth. I ate the whole That's thing. That's cool. If you know what these are, put it in the comments. It was awesome. Mus Muscadimes. Yeah. Muscadimes. Cool. I'll take another one. That's was really good. Yeah. After a while, you get that um, perfume taste out of your mouth. Yeah. And, and you know there's seeds in there now. Yep. Let's find another one. Those were good. Try the Muscadimes. <laughs> Must start freaking out later. Tell them I had Muscadimes. All right, guys. We got a lot of airstreams. So we have a 76 Sovereign. Really cool. Oh my gosh. And this is a bunder. Yeah. yeah you just, you, like they use it Chick fil A. We push it up and it turns it on. And you push it around and then you hit high and oh, finish it off. My gosh. Go back to low and take it out. Thank you for keeping thank the dream you. alive. Oh, you're <laughs> we actually enjoy. I, at first, I didn't know what to think. I was like vintage campers, and when I saw the first one, I was like, "Oh my God!" I have such an appreciation for this and what these people are doing. Uh, like, because you know, normally these would just be junk on the side of the road. Like you see, them so junk. Oh man, thank you for saving her. <laughs> this thank is you. awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. Look how huge this one is. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, guys, so we have a 1953 mansion, Spartan mansion, and it is big. It is big. Okay, guys, so this is the cool part of what we learned about this show. So many people actually took their campers down to like the stud and the frames and they redid it. This is so awesome. You really get a sense of appreciation for what they were able to salvage and bring back to life. I mean, there's literally like <laughs> a picture of a bee nest on here. So imagine what they brought this thing from. That is so cool. What is this setup? Oh my gosh, guys, this one is, when I say it's a mansion, it is a mansion. This is huge. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys, this feels like I'm in a two bedroom apartment right now. This cannot be a camper. I'm glad you like it. What? This is so cool. Oh man. I would want to grow up in here. Well, it was fun until I was about 12 or 13 and then it got too cramped with my brother, so. Oh you know, my god. It's not overrated. <laughs> so, I'm on one end. I can't see you. And Eric is standing in the bedroom. That's a perspective of how big this thing is. This is amazing. It's so 35 feet, the cabin is 35 feet. And because it was built by an aircraft company, you are standing in the observation lounge. This is the galley and the head is in the back. Of course, bedrooms are signed anywhere, but. <laughs> you can go with me to all the campers. I, you're like, you're like, what's the Vanna White, the lady that shows all the stuff? All right, I, have a sh I have a shield to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this guy. So it has this little booth here, a well, big booth here in the kitchen. I could just see like someone here with their family, just like guys. This this is full time living right here. Right there last year. Really. It was the seventy fifth anniversary of the first Spartan rolling off the assembly line in Tulsa. Oh, yeah. I bet that was awesome. It was going it into the bedroom. The field. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a camper bedroom that you can walk around in? It has a door, guys. There's like a door outside of the bedroom. Look at all of these windows. <gasps> Who's what is what is this dress? 
that was my honeymoon. <gasps> Oh my god, girlfriend! Back in the day. Oh my god, it's giving me sexy, and it's and I don't even know how old it is, but it's giving me sexy right now. Well, I've been married forty years. Guys, <laughs> this is why we come to these shows. Look at this! This is so nice to see. Oh my gosh, it's reminding me of like the slit my grandma used to wear underneath her her dress and stuff. Oh, it took me back. This is so gorgeous, guys. I love this camper. So I just want you guys to see that there is an actual door in their bedroom. Do you know what they call that door? No. It's called the boyfriend door. Wait, wait. My mom would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We don't get to travel much because we have a fifth wheel and that thing, we have a toy hauler. Uh -huh. And it's 43 foot long, we have two patios, it, because we sold our home so we got it to live in. Uh -huh. So now we got it, we're like, you know what, we can't, we can't camp, we can't go traveling. <laughs> All right guys, I just cannot get over her silk dress on this bed. Vintage to the core, I love it. <laughs> All right, oh, and there's a bathroom, I didn't know oh, yeah. there should be a bathroom, but. Yeah, that's, it is, it's a tub shower bathroom. And then you have a full bathroom with a tub shower. I don't, I don't think they, of course they don't make these anymore, guys, but if you can find one of them, I mean, in a fairly decent condition, well, not even, because I showed you guys, her husband took this thing and, like, remodeled it. Like, there's the pictures in this video, and you would see that they did an amazing job with this, so anyone can, like, get something old and make it livable and nice and new. I love this. Recycle, reuse, and repurpose. Thank you. <laughs> And then you get to see all these little vintage things that you... Oh, my mother had that. She bought that when Queen Elizabeth was oh, wow. coronated. And uh, I, got, I got, brought it out when... Guys, this is some history has. right here. This is history. And you know, I'm from the Bahamas, so we grew up with You're seeing right, all the, yeah. the queen on everything. Oh, and there's Prince Philip on the back. There you go. He was such a handsome man. <laughs> she went to go be with her prince. That's right. That's amazing. Did you see the picture of the little corgis waiting by the door for her when oh. they brought her back? I know. It was so... They were just looking. You could tell. I know she loved her dogs, though. She has so much pictures with them. Guys, I just have to show you some of the artifacts in here. And this is so cool. Is that yours? It looks like yours. Oh. <laughs> That's just some uh, ad work that we've collected. I love it. This one was a big one, guys. There was a lot to see in here. And a little backstory, her husband already told me she grew up in one of these, so that's just amazing to know that she went back to her roots, and this must just be so amazing to be reliving your childhood. It is. It that's really so is. cool. We love it. We took a big 8,000-mile uh, trip over the summer. Our daughter got married in California. Oh, my and God. And so we went to see some state parks. How was it pulling it? Because it is really parks. big. How was it pulling it? It was great. This really? thing pulls like a dream. That's cool. I can pull it. That's cool. I mean, I'm not a weenie or anything, but uh, a lot of women are dumb Good for you, because I've never, I, I've never driven ours. We have a, because we have a, our truck is already big. It's a dually and it's a double cab. Mm -hmm. And then you have 43 foot hitch to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. I, pack, I, 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 when we got to the camp spot, I was like, let me back it up so I could feel like I did something. So I did get it and just back it in the spot. But I was not, I'm like, this is our home now. One woman to another, if you ever have to to pull it out again, you need to learn to pull it because if something happens to him, you've got to be able to get it off the road or get it exactly. someplace where you can park it so you can get some help. Well, so. we just bought a Mini X and I started working that, so maybe that will help me. Oh, yeah. That made me excited. So we just got our property and we're doing our, um, we're going to convert a school bus on there for Airbnb. And we had to get this Mini X and that was the first machinery I drove, but I think I use the Mini X more than he does now. <laughs> I'm like, I need it. For, I'm going to make a little flower bed. I mean, uh -huh. just to put a little flower in it. I'm like, let me use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank so this one's going to be a 1971 Shasta. It's called a Pampered Camper. You can look them up, guys. It is so cute. All right, babe. You're welcome to go in. That's very nice. You all redid it yourself? It's all pretty much original. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. It's all the layout, all that. The floors we've changed, you know, just replaced, and um, they have brown trim on the doors, and so we have replaced it with that. Very nice. That's crazy. That's original. That's in great condition. Okay, guys. So this one is so cool and clean, and this is original. Oh my gosh, that is so open and clean. It's so bright in there. Oh guys, 
Oh man, so they took that color scheme all the way on the inside and put it on the sofas and literally like accented everywhere. It is so freaking cute in here. Oh man. <laughs> I just love the way that they actually just have this set up with the dominoes. It just shows that you can literally hang out in here, have family time in here. Like this can literally be a full-time camper, guys. So there's a full bathroom showers in here they have their toilet i love the paneling that is so cool i can't believe that that's original like it shows you how people really take care of their things like when you like you can bring anything vintage back to life like that's what we try to show you here on the channel that you don't have to go and buy like a hundred thousand dollar new rv you literally can take a vintage rv and give it some love and bring it back to life like this this is so cool. I've been like taken back into time in some of these, in some of the, the campers. Like they have the old school utensils and the old school appliances. And you get a real appreciation for, for pretty much what these people do to keep the dream alive. And I'm so glad that even though I'm born in 87, I can look at a 71 Shastra and it's still nice. That's so cool. Oh man, what an awesome job. Okay, so let's catch some of these appliances outside. That old school fan is so awesome. Here's a radio. For you guys that don't know, this is what the radio looked like, you know, before I was in the car. <laughs> right? He is so handsome. Hi. He's an actual service Oh my god. You are so awesome. This is Moose. I don't blame his name. Oh <laughs> my gosh, you're such a good so boy. Oh, how are you? I have. N she said, "Touch his head," and I, I never knew what she meant. I mean, like, <laughs> this is your head, <laughs> buddy. Oh my god. Do you want to look in the camper? I do before my phone goes dead. Might be a little bit messy. All right, guys. So we have here a 1972. Argosy. Argosy? I was gonna <laughs> not pronounce it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Original? No. No? <laughs> no none, none of it. <laughs> yeah, you need to check in the back. Really? Oh, oh guys, I love the so corrugated here. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh my gosh. We have this floor. This is the flooring in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so full wow, kitchen here. Nice. I love the backsplash. It's so cold and it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they got two beds set up here in the middle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a moose. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this is so cool. So this is the first one we actually seen that oh, has wow, like the yeah. cabin kind of really theme cabin in it. Theme. And I yeah. love it. Oh my gosh. Full bathroom in the back. <laughs> they said they just did the shower. Oh my god! <laughs> she has a bonnet on! <laughs> oh my god, guys! That scared me for a second, but the skeleton has a bonnet on because she don't want her hair wet. That is so cool! Really cool. They don't feed her no more. Yeah, she wouldn't get out of the tub. Yeah. <laughs> did well. This is nice. Definitely cozy feeling. Feels like home, really. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. <laughs> they did an awesome job. <laughs> the mix of materials you guys use in there was awesome for the decorating. I love the wood, the metals, all the different textures. The, um, the, the rake and up on the washboard. Some of those things belong to grandma. Aww, that's so sweet. So guys, that's why we come because you don't only get to see old campers, you get to get the backstory of what they did and where some of these things came from. We got to see Moose. <laughs> there he goes.